another day and another YouTube video. Texas Platoon Fam here. Doing something a little bit different today. I uh, went riding around, got out of the house, just dirt roading, back roads, just chilling. Uh, deer season started last weekend and as you can see in that one clip, got the deer moving out during the day some more, so a little bit of entertainment for myself. Uh, here at Tractor Supply, uh, as y'all can see, fixed to head in and grab a couple items. Before I do though, as y'all can probably read on the title of this video, how to be a pro trailer backer upper. Uh, reading my little notepad down here just to make sure I got it right. How to be a pro trailer backer. No reason anybody should be clicking away from this video, even if, if you're a good backer. Maybe you can leave some comments if I get anything wrong or leave anything out. But even if you've never pulled a trailer though, or never th think you'll ever pull a trailer, you should still watch this. Because you never know when you might turn down the wrong road headed to the lake with your boat. You never know when a wreck's going to happen in front of you and you're stuck in traffic with your 30 foot travel trailer and only have a tight hole to back it into. You never know when your husband or wife might be a total pain in the butt and while they're over at their buddy's house or their girlfriend's house, you can run and get a U-Haul and back up, load all your crap and get out of there. You never, uh, never know. But it's good to be prepared. The first thing you need to do is quit watching those little YouTube clips that says here's a one tip to backing a trailer there is no one tip that is gonna make you a make you better well they all make you a little bit better but there is no one tip that is gonna make you from not being able to back a trailer to being able to back it up really good except for this video right here maybe a few others but this is the one you need to watch this is the one you need to share so got a couple things I need to get from in here real quick before we get started and let's go in Got back out of tractor supply. See that? Got it right there. Surprise. Number one. The number one thing on how to be a pro trailer backer. The number one thing is what you're looking at. Your mirrors. It's a controversial subject. But it's the truth never get in a habit of looking over your shoulder out the back glass no no I know many people does but can you see the side of your trailer when you do that 
if I look over my back shoulder, can I see the side of my vehicle? Most of these steps, tips, whatever you want to call them, will actually make you a better backer, even just in a vehicle. See the little extra mirror out there to the side? How you see your blind spots? Well, when you're backing a trailer, it actually will show you as your trailer starts turning if you've got to turn your trailer as you're backing you can see the side of your trailer and you can look and see where your trailer is going if i'm trying to put my trailer over there right beside that tree and i'm starting right here i can see where i'm going the whole time here's another thing if you do not have mirrors where you can see the side of your trailer whatever you're pulling boat like our pontoon boat is wide and tall if you can't see it with your regular mirrors they have mirror extensions they just slip on your mirror and strap on there or clip on there you can buy them for all vehicles we'll leave a link to a couple of them in the description of this video so you can see what I'm talking about on mirror extensions. They're reasonably priced, easy to put on and, and take off when you're not pulling your trailer, and it helps tremendously. So the number one tip for how to be a pro trailer backer is use your mirrors. I know a lot of people is going to hate on that one, but it, the, it is. That's the number one thing. Let's get to number two. How to be a pro trailer backer. Tip number two. This steering wheel. The more I turn it, the more my trailer is going to kick out. You want it sideways really quick. And you spin that wheel all the way, and that trailer is going to be out to the side. You barely want to get it out turning. You just barely turn the steering wheel a little bit. Back up a little bit and see if it is about where you want it. If not, turn it a little bit more. Back up slowly until you get the trailer headed in the direction that you want. Tip number three on how to be a pro trailer backer. Don't listen to people when they tell you put your hand down here and turn it and that's the direction your trailer is going to go. Because as soon as you start giving it a little bit of gas and start moving and that trailer starts moving out to the side, you're going to start pouring sweat, get nervous, and forget any of that. And start freaking out. Hold the steering wheel however you want to. Watch your mirrors. Back to step one. Watch your mirrors. And step two. Barely turn that steering wheel. Whichever way you think it should go. However you hold it. Ease backwards. In reverse just a little bit and as soon as you start backing up that trailer is going to start turning very slowly because you're going slow if it's the wrong direction adjust and back up slowly and it'll correct itself and it'll start kicking out the direction you want it to go slow patience not overload the brain with hold it here and do this and do that and that's the one tip that'll make you be able to back a trailer bologna or ham or salami whichever one you want to call it hey y'all got the surprise here fixed to show y'all um stick with me don't laugh sometimes when you're trying to teach something the best pro approach is a simple one. 
I said don't laugh. But stick with me. I don't care who's watching this. You made it this far. You're, 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 you want to learn how to be a pro trailer backer. What we got right here is we're simulating a campground with the back end spot. Imagine this was a camper, not a 32 Ford Coupe. When you're coming through here, preparing to set up to back in, take the center of the road. However much room you got, take the center. Just like this right here. In the center. The reason for that is if you're on the left side, you start backing up, the truck's going to run out of room to go real quick. If you're on the right side, the front of the truck is going to run out of room to start turning real quick. So always set up in the center of your maneuver area. Now moving on to number five. As you're coming in to set up, a lot of people would think stop right there and start backing in. You do not want to stop right here. You want to go way past where you're planning on backing and start your maneuvers early on so you just have to take some slight movements remember step number two easy on the wheel movements well if you, you stop right here and start your maneuvers you're going to have to take some very big wheel movements to get the trailer turned enough to start backing in there and then you end up jackknifing it or getting a pickup over too far that way even though you started in the middle you have to take two bigger wheel movements here we go with step number six line yourself up with the back before you ever start this is what I'm talking about do not circle around and stop any different direction and then start trying to back up which it can be done, but you've got to be a fairly good backer. But you take somebody that can't back very good, circle that truck around here, the boat ramp's right here, there goes the pencil. There goes the pencil. Circle your truck around. You're backing in here, so let's put the trailer as straight as we can with where you're backing before you ever start, if possible. Like that right there, you're going to be backing just about straight up. So very little wheel movement. And taking it easy, goes right in. No backing skills required for that other than just keeping the trailer straight. Might be the barking dogs and the loud neighbors. Well, let me finish out this video. So we, what we have is the six tips to make you a pro trailer backer. And then one more tip I have that I forgot earlier. These right here, if somebody is with you, these right here two-way radios come in great for when you're trying to back up and you got a spotter so that they ain't trying to yell people go to yelling it draws attention at campgrounds at boat ramps everybody starts watching you and then you get even more nervous but that's seven tips now that will help make you a better trailer backer make you a pro trailer backer so maybe somebody stuck around long enough to watch this whole video and hope this helps uh, I got my motivation for this from watching the channel
chit show. The chit show. Here, I'll put it up on the screen so y'all know what what it's called. You'll think I was saying something different. I get hours of entertainment out of sitting and watching that show right there on YouTube. But for now, we're going to wrap it up and start working on the next one.